in case you guys did not know already, my name is Fanny, or that's my nickname really. My real name is Savannah. But today we are going to be going over 10 ways to detox that have nothing to do with the body. Number one is the most obvious, unfollow people. If they impact you negatively, if they make you self-conscious, if they post something that's triggering to you, it's okay. You don't have to explain yourself, just unfollow them. If they have a problem with that, they're not a good friend, <laughs> if they are friends, you know? Number two is a little bit different than the first one, but not very much. Um, unsubscribe to things that email you constantly. You know, you got all those freaking emails. Go through them. Delete. I do this every once in a while. It really helps my mental health to know that, like, something in my life is organized. Um, because I don't feel organized most of the time but to know that I only have like two or three emails and they are important to me they're easily found and everything super super good number three I feel like a lot of people do like go through your clothes and donate what you don't wear it's not only a good way to declutter your space but you're getting rid of things that you don't wear and you're also Helping people out if you donate to the right kind of thing. Like um, a church that does like a free clothing giveaway or something. I don't know. You can look into it. Um, or you could just go to like Goodwill or something. Even though they resell it for a price. I personally feel like giving it out for free when you're donating it. It should be then given for free. Just a personal thing. Um, my mom has a friend that used to take donations and then give it to like pretty much you could shop in her garage for free so just a personal preference but once again you could just give it to goodwill number four <laughs> clean out expired products in your kitchen or bathroom um this one might be a little weird for your bathroom but Definitely for a kitchen, if you don't cook that much or you cook a lot and there's just those things in the back of the cabinet that you never use and you probably shouldn't have got for yourself or maybe it was given to you or something, um, you know, just take the time to take those out and get rid of them. And if they aren't expired yet, you can donate them as well. Number five is also kind of obvious I don't know um, cancel subscription services you don't use like if you have Netflix Hulu and Amazon and you're never watching I don't know which one Amazon because you have to pay for every extra like movie or show also um, maybe you cancel that maybe you cancel you know a something like mystery subscription thing coming to your door that you don't ever use but you just like the to see what it is like it's okay I feel like I'm coming off a little dushy <laughs> I'm not I'm totally not I totally like just helping you just trying to help you out <laughs> number six declutter your phone delete apps you don't use delete pictures not needed um what I like to do, personally, because I run out of storage space because I record videos on my phone, is if I really like a picture, like of my dog or something, but it doesn't need to be in my camera roll on Facebook Messenger, I send it to myself, which I just created another account so that I could send myself pictures, and then you can always go back and look. You can always delete it also if you want, but it frees up some space on your phone as well. Along those same lines, number seven is your computer. Declutter your computer. Get rid of things you don't use, software, um, I don't even know. I'm not really a computer person. I literally just bought one for myself and it's weird um, to have one, you know? <laughs> I like, never had a computer. So, um. You know, delete old documents, old pictures, maybe old apps. Things you simply aren't using or don't need. 
if you drive a boop 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 beep beep car i don't know why i said it like that number eight is for you declutter your car clean out your car honestly it makes my mom feel so happy when we declutter our car because we're when we go places we get fast food and then we don't litter <laughs> so it tends to stay in the car and then it piles up over time but it makes you feel so good when your car is clean you're like oh my god i'm never gonna trash this again and then it gets retrashed. it's like normal it's okay but you know it makes you feel good in that moment for a week or two until it gets back to cluttered depending on how much clutter you build up you know we're a family of four tends to be a lot of clutter <laughs> number nine i didn't know how i was gonna do my fingers for a second um organize your finances a lot of people make these like money booklets with like the resealable things like this is for savings this is for rent this is for utilities or whatever if that's your way of going about it so be it um Personally, I have everything like in my bank account, so if I have cash, I just put it in like a secret safe place, but, um, and if I find cash around, like we have a change jar downstairs, you just put it in there, and we are saving up <laughs> to eventually, you know, go through and be like, oh my god, a hundred dollars in change, hopefully, right? <laughs> But if this isn't for you, I totally get it because finances are hard. But if you need some help, there's tons of ways you can easily fix that. Just look on Google. Okay, number 10. Discover what you don't like about your life. This um, that I'm reading says in the past year, the things you've spent time on in the past year that you don't want to spend time on anymore. But honestly, it doesn't have to be the past year. Just your lifetime. Look at it. Look at just your month, maybe. Maybe every month I spend XYZ, I spend like $30 on fast food. And I don't want to do that anymore. So maybe I cut that down to 20 or I cut that down to none. I don't eat out every month. Maybe I only eat out once a week. Maybe I, you know, I don't know. It's your life. Figure out what you don't like that you do. Whatever span of time works for you. Honestly, if you're like me, then you want to think about like three months span. If you're like my mom, she gets overwhelmed fast, you want to think about your week. If you're like my Nana, who's a very much Virgo, who likes to think about everything all the time, um, then maybe you do think about your, the entire year and you're like, oh, like, what have I done that I dislike? What can I change? Do I want to look the way I look? Maybe I should color my hair. Maybe I should start working out. I don't know. Whatever works for you. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you do any of these things and how they make you feel. Okay, because like I said, some of these things help me out a lot, especially when I'm struggling mentally. Um, but that's it for today's video. I think I already said that. Subscribe not only to this channel, but all my channels. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye. And that's about it.